hello everyone welcome to the french desk i hope you're all doing good and you're keeping yourself hydrated in these hot days so today let's start with the exercises of lesson 6 lesson 6 in the previous lecture i had completed all the topics of this chapter including the colors and seasons i hope they're all clear to you and if not you can leave your doubts in the comment section or you can review the lectures okay so now let's start with the exercises on page 71 soissons et ons the first one écrivez les noms des couleurs de l'arc en ciel en français that is write the name of the colors in the rainbow in french so we all know the acronym vibgyor for remembering the seven colors of the rainbow so v stands for violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red now we have to write these in french so violet is violet indigo is indigo blue is bleu green is vert yellow is jaune orange is orange with the same spelling but different pronunciation red is rouge i hope you have learned the colors they're quite simple with repeated recalling you will be able to remember them so vibgyor violet indigo bleu vert jaune orange a rouge so these are the seven colors of the rainbow simple question next one traduisez au français comme dans l'exemple translate into french as given in the example i like the red flower j'aime la fleur rouge so we are given some sentences in english which we have to translate into french so these sentences mostly include colors so there is one thing that you should keep in mind colors are adjectives which are always written after the noun in french so there are certain adjectives uh for example adjectives that describe beauty or age or number and some other examples these are some adjectives which are mentioned before the noun but uh the colors we always write them after the noun as an adjective i like the red flower j'aime la fleur rouge so j'aime la fleur rouge you dislike the black car so the opposite of aimer you have to uh make use of dislike so instead of using the verb détester we can also negate aimer so you can write tu n'aimes pas la voiture noire so you can take note that we are writing noir the black color after the noun that is the car so tu n'aimes pas la voiture noire and also we are according the color noir with an e at the end because we have to keep in mind that the noun that we are addressing in the sentence is a feminine noun so la voiture so for the la voiture uh that is for the car we write n o i r e we end noir with an e because we are talking about a feminine noun here he has a white dog il a un chien blanc so b l a n c is the color white for masculine singular noun and when we have to write white for a feminine singular noun we change it to b l a n c h e and we add s to both b l a n c s that is blanc when we are talking about masculine plural and b l a n c h e s for feminine plural okay il a un chien blanc le stylo est est vert i'm sorry i've written i s is it should be e s t okay so le stylo a vert le stylo is a masculine noun so we are writing just v e r t 
so lo stilo a vert make it uh, make this correction instead of writing is you should write est that is the conjugation of ethro the pen is green there are blue butterflies so you all know the expression for there are is iliade so iliade papillon bleu okay i hope this exercise is clear uh, exercise 1 and exercise 2 that is question 1 question 2 okay moving on to the next question that is the third question mete o plural change into plural so this question asks us to change the sentences into plural first one set you ju violet so say it changes to sasan if you remember the conjugation of être you will be able to understand this concept that c apostrophe est changes to sasan a and so are both conjugations of être so sasan they ju violet yun changes to te d e s if you have uh, watched my video on les articles and defini you will be able to change these articles into plural as well so sasan de jupe violet so we simply add an s at the end of violet it has already been accorded with double t e because of the noun being feminine so the second one je un livre orange so je changes to nous avons je is i have so when you change it to plural it will become nous avons so nous avons des livres orange orange do not add an s at the end of orange because orange and maro are two colors which are written as it is irrespective of the number and the gender of the noun so it will always be written as orange next is il a un jour bleu that is il sont des jours bleu he has a blue toy so they have blue toys simple set une lampe grise ça sont des lampes grises with an s at the end of gris grise tu as une règle noire tu as you have changes to you have plural so vous avez des règles noires okay this is simple next write the names of the colors in french horizonto vertico so the first one is green so you write where second is gray so it becomes gris third is pink so it becomes rose fourth is dark brown so it is marron fifth is white blanc six is purple so you write violet seventh is blue blur eight yellow becomes jaune nine black becomes noir ten it remains the same orange and the last one red becomes rouge so now let's move on to the fifth question écrivez le nom des quatre saisons en français so we have to write the names of the four seasons we have studied in french so the first one is spring so it becomes le printemps second is autumn so l'automne third is winter so l'hiver and fourth is summer so it becomes l'été i hope you remember the french translations of these seasons they are important and you should learn a line or two about each of these seasons for your exam next is écoutez et remplissez les blancs listen and fill in the blanks so what we're doing here is we're not doing this as a listening exercise we're simply according the colors given in the sentence according to the noun in the second half of the sentence for example le bus est rouge so the bus is masculine singular here le bus est rouge now we're talking about car that is la voiture that is feminine singular noun so it becomes la voiture est rouge the second part le cahier est blanc it becomes la gomme est blanche le tableau est vert it becomes la table est verte 
Le stylo est noir. It becomes la chaise est noir. Le ciel est bleu becomes la fleur est bleu with an E at the end because of the noun being feminine. Okay. Question 7 we've already done in the first question of this exercise. So that's all about the exercise of Les Ancis. I hope it's clear. Mostly based on memorizing the names of the seasons and the colors in French. I hope they're clear and you're enjoying studying with me. Please do leave your feedbacks so that I get motivation to create more lectures for you. I'm trying to be as regular as possible. Uh, although it's very difficult for me to uh, find out time uh, during the weekdays because I have my college going on. But uh, I, I'll try to take out some time on weekends and hurry up and try to cover the syllabus for class 6. So that's all about today's lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and you've learned abundantly from it. Thank you so much for your support. Keep watching. Happy learning. Thank you.